hip, hip, hooray for DNA. It provides the key to the plans for making everything in you and me. And you might have heard of this term before, it often gets used quite a bit, GM foods. And that refers to GM means genetic, genetically modified. So there has been, usually there are often transgenic species, or species who have been changed to increase productivity or, or a different type of reason, transgenic species. And these are often used for lots of things. Like they're, they're, So these are some of the reasons why they get used. So for example, they have, make plants resistant to pests. PT crops, which we mentioned in the last video, these can be used to make plants resistant to pests, which means we have to do, use less pesticides and the actual plants themselves will be killed less often by pests or eaten by pests less often. And that was one uh, use of transgenic species. Another one is to make human, uh, human hormones. So for example, we can make insulin via bacteria or we can make antithrombin via goats. And these are both either hormones in the case of insulin or very useful chemicals in the example of antithrombin, which we need. And for people who can't make them, we can make them using bacteria or goats and thereby make it cheaper to produce these hormones. We can also improve the commercial value of livestock by, for example, making them disease resistant or by making them produce more milk or by making them bigger when it comes to meat production so they're more fleshy. All these would be examples of how we can com improve the commercial value, so financial value of livestock using GM foods or GM species. Um, we can also make bacteria that can break down chemicals. For example, if there was a chemical spill, we can put down these bacteria and they will break those chemicals into something which is harmless. Or if there was a oil spill or anything else, we can use these, chem these bacteria in the future to break down these oil particles to reduce the damage. And so these were all some of the uses of transgenic species. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to cover also some of the ethical issues so, you know, is it right, is it wrong to make these foods? What could be the, the discussion points for or against these different issues? And that's what we're going to discuss in this video. So the dot point itself says, analyze information from secondary sources to identify examples of, of the use of transgenic species, which is what I've done here. This is the, the uses of transgenic species. And use available evidence to debate the ethical issues arising from the development and use of transgenic species. So this is what we're going to do now. We're going to debate the ethical issues arising from the development and use of transgenic species. So these are our, I've written down three ethical issues, right? One, two, three. These are our ethical issues. There's a couple more, but these are some of the main ones. And because it says debate, what it means by debate is we have to talk about, you know, what are the points for it? And why should we do it? And what are the points against it? Why shouldn't we do it? So we should look at both sides, not just one side. All right, so for example, when it comes to the environment and nature, what reasons are there to produce transgenic species to improve the environment and nature? And what are there to against it? Well, one sort of ethical issue, one point for it would be that it would be unethical not to use technology that might be beneficial. So now we can make you know, different types of, um, for example, we can make insulin and you know, this antithrombin medication using bacteria and sheep respectively. It would almost be unethical if we didn't use it to improve our well-being. Right? So that would be one argument for you know, changing nature because we could make nature help us. Now, some of the most obvious ones against it. Now, is it wrong to play God? Here we are selecting things. We are changing species. We are doing things which are not natural at all. Is it wrong to do what we want to do? And we don't look at, we don't really think about the animal. Is that wrong or is that right? Should we do that? So that would be a point against. Now, is it wrong to play God? I think that's obviously a good question. And also, now, is it is it right to reduce the biodiversity? Uh, because can we say the genetic diversity decreases dramatically when we're doing uh, selective breeding 
techniques and transgenic species. There's a problem with transgenic species, first of all, that they could be actually harmed by the process. And we use the example of the chicken that doesn't actually like being much bigger because that means it's going to have problems moving around. So it can either reduce genetic diversity or include a gene into its gene pool, which is actually not necessarily beneficial for it. So reduced biodiversity is another point against it, right? So in this case, when it says debate, look at the points for, look at the points against. And then maybe at the end, wrap it up and say, you know, well, I think the points against are better than the points for, so we should reduce or we should increase, etc., etc. Right, so this was one of the ethical issues. Another one is the medical and health issues. And these are probably always good ones to write about because you know you can always make arguments for and against. Four is that we can create foods with higher nutrition value, right? So at the moment, for example, if we were to grow, let's say, wheat, we know that there are a certain amount of vitamins in it. We know there are certain amounts of minerals in it. And we know the overall nutrition value. But if we can make transgenic species, we can actually make these with higher nutrition values. So we can make more, put more vitamins into it, put more minerals into it, and everyone making it healthier. So that's obviously for you know, health issues. That's something for it. Now we can make them, and we can make them better than they were beforehand. And we can also reduce the use of pesticides. And we know that pesticides themselves, now they can drain into a lake. They can cause quite a bit of damage. So if we reduce the use of pesticides, that's good. An example would be if we put the PT gene into plants. We said that the PT gene basically kills pests directly. We don't used to have to use pesticides. So we can reduce the use of pesticides, which would be good for the plants and the animals around it because pesticides can have a bad impact on the health of plants and animals. Right? That would be a medical reason for using transgenic species. Now, what would be one against? Well, against would be that often we don't have, we have unknown health consequences, right? There haven't been a lot of tests on them, or, you know, maybe we have, that's not the long term. I think the long term tests are something, you know, there might be no problem in a year, you know, after a year of testing, but what happens 20 years on the track? You know, 20 years on the track, is there maybe a problem then? And that's what our testing so far hasn't shown yet, if there's a problem in the long term, right? So, that would be a, a debate or a discussion against using transgenic species on medical and health issues, health grounds, because we don't really know the consequences of using genetic transgenic species, both for the animal and for us consuming the animal or the plant. And another one would be the financial and social justice issues or concerns. Now, for using the transgenic species, we can make more profitable crops, right? We can make crops which produce more oranges or grow faster or need less water. So we can make more money with those same crops. So that would be a reason why, yeah, we should use you know, transgenic species because we can make these crops which make us more money. And also we can then put that money into research. Right? So if we make more money, we can put that money into more research and that would allow us to find out ways that we can reduce the impact of transgenic species for that research. And that would be one point. And also again, we can make, we can create more productive crops. So now what would be the reason for not making more productive crops, right? That's what you could, you could argue. Now, if we have a way to make them more productive, let's make them more productive. That would be some of the reasons for. And some of the reasons against would be, so for example, because that's a quite advanced technology. So developing world would probably miss out. So what I wrote is developing world would not be able to afford those crops. And the problem with that is, you know, you have the gap already be between the developed world, so the Western world and the non-developed world is already quite big. But that technology might mean that you know, the Western world benefits even more and you know, they can make better crops. But the developing world won't get that technology, which means there's a widening of the gap between developed and undeveloped. So that might be a, a, a argument against using it on financial and social grounds. It's not right for society because there would be a widening gap between rich and poor, especially in country-wise. And also, and this is actually a relatively big problem. If, for example, you know, if you change a gene on a plant or animal, you can patent that gene. So you can say a patent means that you someone has to pay you money to use that gene. So you, if you patent the gene, 
and it's your gene. So you put that gene into a animal, let's say this is the animal DNA and then there's a part of it which is then your new gene. Because that gene is in there, the whole animal belongs to you. Right, so for example with the BT crop, all plants that have that BT, crop, BT gene in it belong to one company. So one company owns that BT gene. So whenever you want to use a BT crop, you got to pay that company extra money, which might make it much more expensive, especially for you know your farmers who don't have that much money. And that might be wrong. Financially, that might be a reason why we shouldn't do it. Large companies can own patents on crops and on animals, and thereby make it more expensive to you know harvest, to make food, or to, to anything else. Right. So for this dot point, you should know the first part, which is you know, some of the uses of transgenic species. The second part was you know, you've got your three issues that are listed, ethical issues, and should be be able to debate them of the for and the against point. But I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.